I'm Al Dawson, and the program that I participated in was the Aboriginal Ecotourism Program um, through Vancouver Valley University and North Island College, sponsored and supported by the Halsic Tribal Council. Primarily young adults through, through uh, um, obviously, um, adult age participants. And the program is geared towards First Nations participants and participants coming from various communities up and down the coast. The aim of the program is to provide an opportunity for First Nations participants to uh, enhance their skills in tourism, also to maybe discover their um, discover an opportunity in tourism and uh, also gain some some skills and certification in those areas. For me, uh, kayaking was one, which um, I'm still looking forward to um, utilizing more in the uh, and the, obviously during uh, tourist season, also um, other other activities, uh, canoeing, stand up paddleboard, things like that. Um, wilderness first aid was really important. Um, obviously, there was there was other areas, other technical uh, courses that um, certificates that were, that were very useful to the students. Um, one of them being. Uh, Radio, um, radio operators certificate um, was very beneficial. The program was designed so that uh, students had an opportunity to travel from community to community and um, participate in the program um, eight days per month. So um, they'd spend eight days where they would get intensive uh, study in a couple of areas. And uh, depending on what those communities offered, um, those eight days, each eight day period was very intensive and uh, covered a lot of material in a short period of time. And I think that's a really useful and beneficial way of delivering the program. Some of the communities we traveled to were um, Quadra Island, the uh, Chakalutan Lodge. We spent uh, eight days there, it was our first, um, our first uh, place we visited. And then uh, obviously Courtney, um, Nanaimo, we've gone to Lund. Alert Bay and Duncan were the communities that we visited. We were fortunate enough to uh, connect with uh, local tourism companies, um, whether it be kayaking companies or just an interpretive, um, a person that provided interpretive um, guiding in the community, like um, if it was a, a, a walking um, visit through the community or areas of the community. Um, other things we visited were um, accommodations in communities. A lot of the operators um, or the people that um, obviously had businesses in tourism were very supportive um, to the program and they offered a lot of guidance in terms of um, how to get into certain areas, whether it was kayaking or um, whatever it might be, surfing. Um, and we were able to establish um, quite a network um, of contacts um, throughout the, fr from the various communities that we we visited. Um, not only did we go to that specific community, but um, neighboring communities were able to come and offer um, expertise and uh, support to the program as well. I think the um, success for me was the fact that uh, such a program offered um, what I would call a safe place for First Nations participants to to study among um, their peers and feel that support and have that understanding of each other's um, just by, by virtue of the fact that they come from similar communities and similar backgrounds. But also, um, I think it gave a lot of the students and participants an opportunity to, to um, really learn more about what, they, what they're capable of and um, also um, find a passion or establish a passion about the things that they want to do in their lives. Um, obviously, tourism was the focus, but it, it, um, it offered an opportunity for those that um, probably didn't have the confidence to go out and do other things or the things they wanted to do. It gave them that opportunity to, to gain confidence and experience and understanding of who they were and then take off and go and do and experience their lives the way they wanted to do it. Um, some of the students have gone on to continue their studies, whether it was in tourism or other areas, and uh, others have uh, 
such as myself, stayed within the tourism realm and um, worked for various companies in whale watching or kayaking and or, or um, things like that. I think the fact that um, the program it, we're in, I think our our cohort being the first one, we're in about four or five now, five or um, four or five cohorts now. That in itself says a lot for the program. It um, the fact that. Um, there's um, value in the program, so it gets funded, and the funding itself is huge. And um, I think my hope is that it continues. So I think that is in itself a, a huge. Um, it's a bonus to the program to have it um, run over and over again. So us being the first cohort and now seeing the fourth and fifth cohorts go through is is amazing. When you first walk through the door, there's obviously a lot of uncertainty in terms of um, who we are and what we're capable of, what we all bring to the table. At the end of the day, we discover who each other is and um, all the tools and experience and, and um, things we bring to the table. And at the same time, there are things that um, we're able to have understanding of um, where mainstream schooling would never offer. So we're able to support each other in those areas. And uh, when you see somebody come in and uh, not having the wherewithal or the confidence to to um, maybe stay with the program, we're right there to support them and, and help them along the way and get them through um, every, every step of the way. And uh, when they come in, obviously there's a huge lack of confidence or there's a huge uncertainty at the end of the at the end of the program you see a huge shift in them people coming out and all of a sudden they've got a voice and that's so important i think there's a demand for such programs um obviously this being um myself being part of the first cohort and then obviously the um cohorts after ours um are a testament to that and uh if it's not this program, if it's something else, and people are pursuing these kinds of things, then it, yeah, there's obviously a place for it, and there's an opportunity for it, a room for it. But in terms of it being geared towards First Nations, really offers an opportunity for First Nations um, participants who desire such a format to uh, to study in is really critical, is really important. I think the methodology in mainstream schooling uh, is very structured and uh, it has its benefits and I mean it, it caters to a certain audience and that is, having said that um, First Nations participants are able to explore um, both um, methodologies coming from a First Nations uh, background and uh, a lot of us living and working within our First Nations communities obviously um, our approach to study is considerably different. Uh, I think that First Nations participants are more tactile learners than more so than academic learners. So the program itself really lent itself to First Nations participants in the sense that it gave us a chance to um, to dabble in the academic world and at the same time maintain um, the ability to, to learn hands-on and, and visually. So that's a very huge plus for for participants. There's a lot of business owners that uh, that support um, First Nations, um, whether it's in, uh, endeavors or uh, interests in tourism and um, or people seeking opportunities and uh, First Nations people seeking opportunities in tourism. It's huge because I think, um, I mean, especially today, I'm seeing a shift in what I do in, a, in the whole whale watching um, marine tour business. Um, a lot of people are looking at, uh, at First Nations people and saying, you need to come on board with us because, you know, there's a shift now. We're watching becoming saturated to a point where I think that we're going to see a change in how we're watching is conducted and a more, more of a shift towards um, other areas and other opportunities in tourism. And I think First Nations are going to be at the forefront in that in that area. So I think it's gonna be hugely important for us to maintain our involvement. Uh, the Aboriginal Ecotourism Program, I think for me, it's a program that is so beneficial, it was, especially it was, it was huge for me. It obviously gave me voice and gave me an opportunity to, to explore things that I 
you know, I otherwise never would have attempted. And uh, if, if there was if there's anything I could say about it, it, would be, I hope that and wish that it would continue on, and that we get you know five years down the road and see such a program um, still going on or developing and enhancing into something bigger. And uh, I think that would be um, the one thing that I, one thing I really think about and I want to see for the program.